Guys, we did it. My subscription count. It's... I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. Uh, 1,000 subscribers. That's freaking surreal and crazy. Um, I thought I'd do like a little um, get to know me kind of video after a thousand subs. Just, you know, I want to read off some questions and answer them just so you guys can get to know a little bit about me and why do I still have this? Um, yeah, so let's uh, start them off. I spend a good amount of my time on YouTube watching videos like um, from Rooster Teeth, the Achievement Hunter. Um, I love their Let's Plays. I love watching Game Grumps, where my lovelies at. But when I'm not feeling antisocial, I usually go over to a friend's house and we play video games or board games, stuff like that. Just uh, generally having a good time hanging out with my buds. Hey, can you uh, get my back? I'm gonna go in here real quick. What are you doing? Get my back, what are you doing? Come on, hurry up! Guys, I feel like I'm the only one out here right now. David Squirtle, you're not even in Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, right now I'm playing um, Destiny with my friends and uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe. That game was great. Best game we've had since uh, Burst Limit, in my opinion. Not a big fan of the Raging Blast series or Tenkaichi, but yeah. When did I start making AMVs? I think I started around 2005, 2006, around then. Back when Dragon Ball was uh, ending on TV. I'm sure some of you will remember Kaza from back in those days. Uh, for those who don't, it's just a place where you could download files. Um, I used to download DBZ clips from there and um, not porn. I used to download AMVs from there too. I thought AMVs were like the coolest thing. I just kept downloading more and more to like see what else was out there. 90% of them being Linkin Park songs. Uh, but that's what got me into like thinking of making my own because there weren't many AMVs out there that use songs that I liked, that I used to listen to. A lot of it, all of it was like rock and like alternative rock that kind of music. My kind of tastes were like um, rap, R&B, hip hop, pop kind of stuff you hear on like America's Top 40. And that's when I started making uh, AMVs myself. I just wanted to um, use the music that I liked and I listened to and um, give it a shot. I really like um, making AMVs with songs that people have not already tried to do already. That's why before I make an AMV, I always go on YouTube first or AMV.org and type in the song and the anime, DBZ always, and um, find and see if anybody else has already made uh, an AMV with that. Uh, sometimes they do, but they're not the grit the best, so I'll try and see if I can top it and do it myself. When did I first start watching Dragon Ball Z? I started watching it back in 1998, I think, when it first ran on Toonami here in North America. My friend who used to live next door to me, he uh, came over once with these papers you printed off something called the internet, and uh, it just had episode summaries of stuff that hasn't even been released in America yet, and I'm like, this sounds crazy. Trunks? Vegeta has a son? Uh, there's something called Fusion? Super Saiyan 3? Super Saiyan 4? What? I, I, that's what hooked me, pretty much. I watched it every single time it came on. Just, I couldn't miss a single episode. Back then, I was just like how your average fan is now. Raving on about Super Saiyan 5s and how Broly's power is maximum. I was a hardcore W back then. Uh, my excuse was just like everyone else's. I just couldn't stand Goku's girly voice in the Japanese version. But I, I like to think I've grown and matured since then. <laughs> Toriyama, your poop jokes are legendary. After the show's run ended, I still had an itch for more Dragon Ball. That's when I stumbled upon the website Daizenshu EX, or as it's known now, Kanzenshu. Through my years of visiting the site and listening to the podcasts that they have, and just uh, being a part of the forums, I grew to appreciate the Japanese version of the show and all it had to offer. I grew to love Masako Nozawa's voice and her performance as Goku, and it wasn't like, oh, I got used to her high-pitched voice. It was that, that is Goku. That is the voice, and it fits it perfectly. Mike, Mary, and Julian over at, uh, what was Daisenshu EX really opened up my eyes to show me what a rich story Dragon Ball really has in between all that chaotic action. Now, don't get me wrong, I will always love the English dub. But if I want to watch a great show with no nostalgia needed to enjoy the show, I'll always go back to the original Japanese version. Sometimes it's hard to believe that I've loved the series for more than half my life already. Uh, I was 10, I think, when it started. That's 16 years of my life devoted to this one series. I can't even devote 16 months to one girl. Ah, am I right? Damn it, Squirtle. 
when is your next AMV coming out? Well, that's the question, ain't it? I'm not, I don't have anything planned right now, but that's just because I'm never really actively looking out for potential songs to go with Dragon Ball. Um, they usually just come to me. I'm usually just in the car listening to the radio and a song comes on. And um, since I'm always thinking about Dragon Ball anyway, uh, I, just, it's, I just start clicking them together and seeing if they actually work well together. And um, if they do, I try and start to work on it until I feel like, yeah, this is going to work. I could do something with this song. Usually, usually it does work out and it works out for the best. So I just got to keep my ears open and find a good song that I like. If I could summon Shenron, what would I wish for? Alright, yes, I finally got them all. I can make my wish. Dragon, by your name I summon you forth. Shenron, or Shenlong, whatever. Hey, um, could you make it so that Dragon Ball Evolution never existed? Sushi. Can you give me sushi? Yay! What, no chopsticks? Guys, I love sushi. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I really have fun filming and editing it. Let me know if you want to see more stuff like that from me in the future. I'm always going to keep making AMVs, but, you know, in the meantime, between AMV to AMV, there's nothing there. So if you guys want me to do something like this, like dumb skits or... I can even show off the collection I got back there. I have a lot of Japanese only products there that I can't even read. My name is Doug and I have a problem. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know you hear people on YouTube say it all the time, so much so that it feels like they're just reading from a script now, but every time we say it, um, we genuinely mean it, like from the bottom of our hearts. So guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yes, even you, Squirtle. I wish you'd evolve already.